Tell me, Ken Parker, is this correct? It is almost exactly what we did 30 times, 30,000 times, yeah. And um, for the first year, we used a lot more carbon. And it was a problem because it made the compression strength of the back of the neck so great that we were breaking thrust rods trying to compress it. Okay. So what we had was essentially the same amount of carbon on the back as on the front. And it made it so the truss rod just didn't, it wouldn't work. So we had to greatly reduce. So it used to be a complete 10 thousandths layer of carbon all around the back of the neck. But what we have, what we ended up with was this crazy one inch stripe. Now it's, it's tapered, right? It wasn't? Oh, okay. No, I'm okay. So yeah, it's exactly what you're saying. One inch wide stripe of carbon. Okay, great. Thank you. And then the fiberglass exoskeleton covers all of it, right? Every, everything you can see in that view. Yeah. Okay. Including the edges of the headstock, as you know. Got it. But not the edges of the body. 